try and send the message that he wants the country to be back open. He wants things to return to normal. And he is certainly trying to will that return to normalcy into existence, even as we see uh, those rising case counts still in several key parts of the country. Uh, the president now, he knew that he was being captured on camera. At one point, he waves to the photojournalists, including our Khalil Abdallah, uh, during the footage that you can see of the president golfing. But the president, even though Secret Service agents were wearing masks, the president was not uh, wearing a mask. Neither were his three other golfing partners. And we saw the president certainly not appearing to maintain any of that six feet of social distancing between him and his golf uh, partners. Uh, now, this comes as a uh, President Trump, he has previously criticized the last president, President Obama, for golfing uh, amid a crisis. Uh, president Trump criticized President Obama after there was just a second confirmed case of Ebola back in 2014. Watch. And you know, when you're president, you sort of say, like, I'm going to sort of give it up for a couple of years and I'm going to really focus on the job. How about right after the beheading? He then walks mm -hmm. over, That's he gives right. a news conference, and then walks right outside and tees it up. Mm -hmm. right. You know, there are times to play golf. We all love golf. There are times to play, and there are times that you can't play. And it sends the wrong signal, but he plays a lot of golf. Now, uh, President Trump has not uh, golfed, as far as we know, for uh, more than two months now. That's his longest stretch without golfing uh, during his presidency. Uh, but it comes, as we know, Anna, there are more than 1.6 million confirmed cases of coronavirus in the United States currently, nearly 100,000 uh, dead and counting. Uh, but perhaps that's the point, is President Trump is trying to send this signal that we are no longer uh, in the midst of this coronavirus crisis. Uh, despite what the numbers say, despite what the facts say, President Trump is trying to send a message to the country that the United States is now past that and moving towards this reopening phase, not only of the economy, but also resuming uh, all of the other uh, activities that comprise this sense of normalcy that President Trump so desperately wants to convey to the country. Again, despite what we are seeing and despite the warnings from public health experts, including Dr. Deborah Birx, who just yesterday pointed out that this very region where the president was golfing is one of those regions where there is still a high plateau of confirmed cases and a high positive rate of coronavirus uh, cases in terms of the number of tests being uh, uh, being done. So uh, certainly some mixed messaging once again from the White House. Anna.